All right, so some people wanted uh, help with uh, trying to focus or trying to find uh, planets with uh, the next star five or with the uh, <laughs> say the next image five or the uh, the uh, next uh, image burst I think is what it is. Uh, this basically is for uh, majority of the uh, planetary imaging cameras. Uh, it's going to be a long video because it's going to be, you know, showing you roughly an ideal of how long it takes to get focused just right uh, to uh, to perfectly get your object uh, centered. So I'm using a software here. Um, it's a it's a replacement of um, which I'm recording this on my cell phone by the way, so I apologize for the quality. Um, but it's called IC Capture 2.4, and. Um, <clears throat> Long story short, is this is a replacement uh, for iCap. Uh, a lot of people still use iCap, but uh, this software can be get gotten from uh, the imaging source. I'll try to put a description, put it in the description for you guys if you want to get it. Uh, it only works for uh, some uh, planetary imaging cameras like the Next Image 5 and, and possibly some of the other ones from Celestron. Some of the other brands like uh, ZWO maybe as well. Um, so this is the laptop. Um, this telescope here is a uh, Celestron Next Star 5SE, is what this is. And uh, I currently have the Next Image 5 camera uh, directly connected into the uh, the back of the focuser there. Uh, one thing I want to mention is is I'm not using a reducer, um, which would give me a wider field of view uh, for finding the object. Uh, but the problem is is then. Um, I've, I've noticed some problems, I don't want to go into a whole rant on that, but some of you might have better luck than I'd have with using the, the reducer um, on it. So anyways, um, I, it, all telescopes are basically alike with it when it comes to the planetary imaging cameras. Uh, you'll have to focus, and just because my focuser on the back of my telescope is a little different from yours, uh, yours might have dual wheels or a wheel knob to roll it out. Uh, mine actually has a little focuser back here because this is the 5SE. Anyways, uh, so I'm going to try to um, show you uh, focusing it and what the object looks like when it's out of focus. So first thing is to find an object that you're going to want to, uh, you know, obviously focus or, or, or to view. Uh, most likely, if you're using a planetary imaging camera, you're going to want to use planetary uh, planets as as the uh, object. And I wanted to show you uh, what they look like when they're out of focus, uh, because a lot of people don't realize what it looks like. So um, a perfect a perfect thing would be the moon. Hopefully, you guys can see it up there. It's a little it's a white dot up there. It's completely out of focus on my camera, but that would be. The first thing I'd recommend trying your planetary imaging camera on is the moon, and uh, we're gonna attempt that with the uh, with the next image five here. So I gotta find the remote. I know it's around this telescope somewhere. Um, so let me see if I can grab this remote. And uh, let's see. I was currently just finished my star alignment, so there's the controller there. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and hop to solar. And see if we can find the moon here. And the telescope's going to slew to the moon. As you can see, it's slewing to the moon right now. Um, and then if we go back to the laptop, which you can see there, um, it'll either be on the screen or it'll completely be off the screen. Which, from what it looks like, it's right there on the screen. And it's a little bit blurred. Uh, which is kind of good because the moon is a good object to focus on. Hopefully you got a new moon when you're doing this because a new moon will help you learn, like, focusing and whatnot. Uh, the thing that I want to do is here is I want to try to center the moon so that uh, it's in the, uh, the screen there, which is kind of going off course. And it's very tricky because the slightly wrong key that you use on your... Uh, your controller will throw it off so you gotta be really careful um, and like I said the moon is a big object so it's easier to focus on and you're gonna wanna slide it over 
that's obviously the wrong way that's what I'm saying when you're moving it there we go I try to want I'm trying to get it as uh, centered as possible because when I start to focus the uh, the focuser um, what's gonna happen is is the uh, the moon is going to uh, basically um, get smaller obviously with the planet I should say it's gonna get smaller so let me see if I can focus that in and also I have to pay attention to the screen too because I noticed that uh, it's going out of the uh, I say it looks like it's coming into focus so that gray is it's hard to see on the uh, on the uh, screen because the screen is white <laughs> on my phone uh, hopefully I should be getting some craters on here if I'm going the right way which like I said this is um, this is pretty tricky to do sometimes and, I, and you gotta make sure that you're going the right way as you can see it looks like I'm off off screen there a little bit so I might want to focus the opposite direction which is uh, the right side for me so it's either gonna make it extremely bright or it'll come into focus so it's hard to tell uh, and I'll do another video showing the planets but I think I might be going out of focus on this one too the key is, is just to keep trying to focus left or right or in and out until you get an ob uh, an object on your screen. It kind of looks like I'm getting in focus now. Hopefully. You guys can kind of see that the moon is coming into focus now. There we go. So it's just about perfectly in the focus. So that is the moon finally focused. Hopefully you guys can see that it's not perfectly focused but um and there's a lot of glare from uh from i think the sun is still hitting the moon at just the right angle to to illuminate it even though it's a new moon um and one thing i want to do real quick is i want to increase the uh the screen size here to about 100 percent since i'm only at 20 percent i want to change this to 100 percent and um i think i'm a little bit i think i might be a little bit overexposed uh the gain actually might be a little bit too high on this which is causing yeah, that might be about what it was um so between my gain and my exposure which you guys can't see there it is if i bring this down a little bit you can darken the moon or I can darken them and you can darken it too by ex changing the gain and exposure. Uh, it looks like it's a little bit out of focus. Again, I'm using the uh, the focuser knob here on the back of mine, which might be a little different from your telescope from mine. Um, but as you slowly turn it or roll it out, it will uh, it will bring the object into focus. So this is focusing with the moon. Is obviously it'll be a blur ball on your uh, on your screen um, I recommend normally starting out at the max resolution that your camera will offer which for me is uh, 2592 by uh, 1944 at 20% which is right up here when you're first when you first power your laptop on and you connect it to your laptop you want to start it out about 20% which would make the screen smaller uh, but it'll fit the object in the whole screen yeah, unless you're completely way off um, off alignment uh, then it should be on the screen now I know that my focus is terrible but it's also the quality of the phone too but it looks a lot better uh, let's say it looks a little worse actually I'm not gonna lie though it does look worse looks like I'm a little bit out of focus and I have to find my focuser real quick so I'm gonna try to focus that uh, that looks a little better you know, on the screen it looks terrible, but on the or on the camera, the phone looks terrible, but on the screen it looks pretty good. Uh, I'll try to bring, see if I can bring it out to 100% quick. I'll do another video uh, to add to this one um, to uh, show you um, what planets look like when they are out of focus.